Uh, you guys fought hard in this game. Just what you can say about, you know, it didn't end in your favor, but you kept it close all the way through. I mean, it was it was one of those games. You know, it was pretty close. Now I'm pretty sure both teams think they had it. And certainly, we were confident. You know, going into the game, and you know, we started off playing really good. Our defense was good. We we're knocking down shots, but we had like a stretch when everything didn't go the way we planned. And I think that's when they just, um, you know, pressed on the pedal and never looked back. You know, we had, we had to kind of fight from behind, and it was pretty close. We were just, you know, a, one or two plays away from winning the game, but unfortunately we didn't. So, you know, um, you know it, it didn't work out our, the way we wanted it, but, you know, what can we do? When you look at going up against guys like Wendell Carter Jr. and Marvin Bagley the third, just what you can say about what they did inside and, and just what it was to match up with them. I mean, obviously they're really good players. So when you're playing them, you have to kind of be on, the, on your toes because one bad, um, um, one bad mistake, they might take advantage of it. You know, they took advantage of it a couple of times tonight, and you know that's like you know what I'm saying. Like when you play guys like that, you have to. You know, be really vigilant and try to eliminate all those little mistakes because you know those kind of mistakes might cost you a game. And you know, we we played a pretty good defense, but you know, a couple of times that they had they played they had a good offense going, and they were able to get a couple of layups and you know, knock down shots. But you know, going like we had them, we wanted them, but we just couldn't finish. What was it about that? What was the disconnect that you said you had them where you wanted them, but she just didn't finish? Um, you you know the game was close you know we set up good and you know I think you know if we you know if like the way the game started if he stayed like that I think we'll have you know won no doubt but we just had that stretch when things went clicking for us and we had to dig, dig, uh, dig deep to find that again but you know but that time was too late because you know they already had the lead and they just kept on going like we do uh, we came back but you know it, it wasn't um uh, because it wasn't enough i think you know a couple down we they just had um they eliminated all the all their mistakes and you know they didn't let us you know when we trapped they you know got out of it and you know we couldn't just you know make a good you know defensive turnover and i think if we did that they would have had a chance but they just made um I should say a good plays. Last season, you your season was cut short, and then you had to have eye surgery. This season, you got to play a full season and see this team and help this team get three wins in five days and, and get to where you got to in the Sweet 16. Just what you can say about what you're taking away positively from this season. I mean, there's a lot to take away. I mean, I just thank God I finished the season because, you know, <laughs> last year was, um, it was kind of tough. And to come back and, you know, play heavy minutes and still, uh, you know, be somewhat healthy till the end, you know, uh, I'm really happy. <laughs> but, I mean, obviously, I, uh, I wish we went on the way, but, you know, obviously we couldn't do that. But, you know, it's, well, um, it's time to get ready and... Um, for next year and you know see where that see what happens honestly for me just the pride you have in this team and the, the pride that you have in, in these players to look around this locker room and know that sometimes you guys had to do with five guys six guys maybe seven and the fact that from the outside looking in nobody wanted to give you not a lot of people wanted to give you guys any credit and you just dug deep and did what you had to do I mean you know you always gotta have people like that you know people that are gonna so you can't do anything or um, all that teams are better than you but you know those guys are not the one playing they're just you know talking and you know we just try to like you know not listen to those guys too much and you know play the game as far as this team you know we had a lot of ups and down and we kept fighting like you know that's all we can do you know just ignore the outside noise and you know keep fighting it shows like you know all these every one of us you know play with heart play 110 percent every, every time they were out there and we, you know we had success you know even though all those you know step we have a couple step back but we still had success and you know we're still here and you know i mean i'm trying Shout out my man, um, <laughs> Coach Cabellis and Brad. You know they kept us in there. Brad, make sure we um, 
you're healthy, like, you know, something hurting, you talk to him, you make sure you're good for the next game or practice. And Cavaliers kept us in there, you know, kept our conditioning up. So I think without those guys, I think a lot of us um, who might not be here, like, they really helped us, you know, get here. What can you say about, you know, going off of that respect with Brahma? I mean, Brahma didn't get to, he played this entire season and hurt yeah. and fought through it, had some big moments and big opportunities that he created for the team. Just what you can say about, you know, Barama being a fellow center with you and, and knowing that he didn't have 100% of himself this year. I mean, he's, you know, I wouldn't say I know where he, uh, what he was he's going to because I really don't. But, you know, him being hurt and still, you know, stay to it and, you know, practice, played, you know, when we, you know, did well was required of him um, by this team, by coach, you know, it really shows that, you know, he's, uh, you know, in the beginning of the season, I saw him play. He's a really good player. And, you know, being around him, you can see, like, you know, you rehearse him that he's not, you know, doing, you know, he's not 100%. He's not doing what he wants to do out there. But I think, you know, he's somebody to look for, um, um, you know, look after for next year. Because, you know, when he's 100%, I think, you know, this team we, um um, would have, you know, been a lot better if he was out there, but unfortunately he wasn't. But, you know, it shows a, a lot of heart for him to, you know, you know, not quit on the team and still stay with the team, even though he was hurting. When he's out there, he's playing and still, you know, play to the end, you know. It shows um, how tough he is. And it wouldn't be a conversation between you and I if I didn't bring up the free throws. So, oh, what does it man. feel like for you to yeah. be one of the best seven-foot free throw shooters in the country? Uh, I mean, you definitely feel good because you know, you know, like, I you know, like talking about it. I just had a flashback to missing the one I had today, but you know, it does. It does something. I walk. I walk on every day after practice. So, like, you know, I expect to like, you know, make those like. I can't be working on it that hard and like you know miss him. So like uh, I shoot like hundred every practice. Like I would work hard at those. So like when I make him, you know, I see a lot of people like surprised. But personally, I'm not because you know that's something I expect from myself. <laughs>